Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 55 tutorial video. In this video, we'll be going through the run settings on the Garmin Forerunner 55. So the Forerunner 55 will track and record many aspects of your runs during a run activity. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the run activity and then I'll be showing you how to change the settings to configure the data screens and also the GPS and different settings within the run activity on the Garmin Forerunner 55. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is start a run activity. And we do that by selecting the start or stop button in the top right up here. And then you just want to navigate using the up and down button until you see run. Once you see run, go ahead and select it with start or stop. Now that we're in the run activity, we can go into the options by hitting the up button. And then we'll see run settings there where we can select that using the start or stop button. And in here, the first thing we have in the run settings is going to be data screens. And the data screens will be the screens that are displayed to you on your watch while you're in a run. So as you can see, they have several different data screens that are by default, including the distance and timer pace, more lap information, your HR, including a graph, a visual, just your normal watch. And then we can add additional data screens here. When going through these, we can edit any of these data screens to change not only the layout, but also what is displayed on the data screen by selecting the start or stop button. And first we can change the layout. So we can go through and see all the available layouts. You can get up to four data sets on one screen. Then after that, we can change the data fields that will be displayed when that data screen is being displayed during an activity. So if we select that, you'll see the data fields start to blink. So we can go through and select which data field we wanna edit, go ahead and select it, and then we can see all the different data fields available. So I'll go through all the different data fields available so you can see what you can choose from. So first we have distance, So those are all the different data fields that you can add to your Garmin Forerunner 55. Once you've made your change, go ahead and select the start or stop button to save it. And then you can move to a different data field if you want to. Once you're completely done, hit the back button. Then from there, we'll have the option to reorder this data screen in the other data screens that are configured. So if I do that, I can move it. As you can see, I'll move this one all the way to the bottom. And then we can also delete it if we want to. Additionally, within the list of available data screens, we can go to the bottom and add a new one. We can choose our screen, and then we can see the different layouts that are available, just like we just saw, where then you'll be able to go through and choose the fields that are displayed within that data screen. So those are gonna be the data screens within the run settings. After that, we have alerts, and this is where you can configure and add new alerts that will be triggered during your run activity. So in here, you can have alerts based on your heart rate. You can have alerts that tell you to run or walk based on distance or time. You can have alerts based on your pace, based on time, so this is how long your activity has been going on, based on distance that you've been running, how many calories you've burned, and then your cadence. So I'll just go into one of these so you can see what it looks like. So we go into heart rate, and in here we can figure which heart rate is going to trigger that alert. And they have zones available to choose, so I'll just do this. So now that we've added this, when we hit this heart rate zone, we'll actually be alerted of that during the activity. I'll go ahead and add another one for calories. And once I hit 200 calories, we'll be alerted that we've hit 200 calories. And that just will let us know maybe that we've reached our goal for the day, something like that. So the alerts are very easy to set up and they can be pretty powerful if you use them correctly. Going back, we also have laps, and this is where we can first configure if auto lap will be on or off, and auto distance, which will automatically register a lap after a certain distance. So you can go in here and change that if you're running a track or something, depending on its size. After that, we can also configure the lap key, which is going to be the back button right here. We can turn that on or off. So if you hit the back button and you want it to automatically register a lap, you can do that or turn it off. Additionally, you can turn on or off the lap alert, which will look like this, where it shows your time for that first lap and then the total for your entire run and which lap you're on. So you can configure the fields for that as well. That's everything in laps. After that, we have auto pause in the run settings. And this is where you can have the activity automatically pause, either when you're stopped, so maybe you stop to take a break or someone stops you and talks to you during your activity, or you can have it automatically pause the activity after a certain amount of time. 
After auto pause, we can have self evaluation. And this is where once you've completed the activity, it'll bring up where you can kind of rate your effort that you put in and then how you feel after the activity. And you can kind of see a quick example of this on the Garmin website where you could set your perceived activity and then how you felt after it. This can just be another piece of data that you can use to track to see maybe if you felt better after activities, after running for a week straight, something like that. After self-evaluation, we have GPS, and this can be good for the accuracy of your GPS and also how long it takes for it to sync up when you initially start your activity. So we can go in here and you could do GPS only, but they also have two different systems that you can use that may give you better accuracy. So we have GPS plus GLONASS and GPS plus Galileo. But I recommend going through these and trying the different options here to see which one is more accurate for you. After that, we have restore defaults. So if you go in and change the settings for your run activity and something is a little bit weird, you can't figure out how to fix it, all you need to do is go into the settings for that activity and select restore defaults. All right, so those were the run settings on the Garmin Forerunner 55. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 55 tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.